What did they need exactly? What were they? What did you need to present to them in order to actually get this across the line? So what they wanted was proof that you were going through uh, persecution and and evidence for that. And the problem with that is obviously if you are escaping a country, you don't just wait to collect evidence before escaping. <laughs> of course, you know? yeah. <laughs> Guys, wait, let me just take a picture. <laughs> yeah. At the mob coming out of gate. <laughs> I mean, we, we had uh, lots of evidence, like the police books that they signed and, yeah. you know, videos and pictures of certain things from past. Mm. Um, but the problem was, because since I turned 18, I had my own case. And that evidence that we had doesn't apply to me. What? Because <laughs> I'm my own person now. And they're like, you're right, you have to start your own claim and you can't be a part of your parents' asylum claim. Was yeah. that the same for your sister then as well when she yeah, became an adult? Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. And they like what, to, so they like to fucking waste fuck money, don't they, fucking around? That shouldn't have been the case. Well, of course not, yeah. because you come here at, what, age 12? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's because not, we, yeah. we came here as a child. We should carry on the case as a, as a, you know, as we came. But well, as a family, yeah, of course you should, yeah. surely. And then what? So they changed that. That's that. It's just yeah. It just feels like we had to keep going around circles and circles when the process should have been quite straightforward. And in the end, they did accept that our evidence was enough. There was persecution in Sri Lanka, and you know it's all legit. But it took them so long to actually get there. Mm. And during that time, we were going through that. There's a few like documentaries going on about the Home Office. People who used to work for the Home Office said, you know, they have like a uh, chart where they can mark how many cases they've rejected and they get bonuses based on that. And there's so much pressure to go through so many cases mm. and reject them. They don't actually have the time to go through each case. <laughs> so we, <laughs> which explains like the mistakes they made in our cases. So, that, so you, you think some, at times people probably weren't even reading it, reading the information, they were just rejecting yeah, the it. The judge found that they didn't read our documents properly. I mean, even on our court case, the Home Office um, lawyer hadn't, Looked, our looked through our documents. He asked for time out to go through the documents and we had a file about this much. <laughs> and you know, within that time, I doubt he's even been able to go through that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's, it's quite bizarre. And the, the thing is, we can't afford better lawyers. We have to stick with who they give us. And thankfully in the end, we had uh, lawyers who were passionate about our case. That's absolutely but, mental, isn't it? Because you're, you're stuck, aren't you? You're absolutely stuck. You've got no money, no accommodation. You, you're waiting on them. and They're not even reading your fucking case. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it just seems absolutely bizarre that yeah. our government are running that like that. I think what makes it really though. <laughs> but it is though, <laughs> so, isn't it? You know, I know, yeah. We shouldn't expect any better. I'm not saying that, but it's just, it's just crazy that it's actually like that, isn't it? You yeah, know what I mean? Right. It's actually you know, all the money and all the resources yeah, we have yeah. in this country. And then we're still... Well, it's just when you're making more work for yourself, isn't it? You're yeah. wasting those resources, fucking running around in circles and chasing your tail and stuff. Yeah, it's bonkers. No, I was curious because, um, yeah, it's such a long fucking time. I think what makes it bizarre is um, there are some people who are not genuine asylum seekers or refugees. Yeah. And they probably have, like, a lot of fabricated evidence and things where they, that raises the bar of what they expect yeah. quite high. So if you actually have a genuine like uh, situation and you don't take time to collect evidence, you can't match up with these like... <laughs> <laughs> can't I start fabricating yeah, stuff? Yeah. So I think that's part of the problem, you know.